We're live, she says. All right, folks. Thanks for coming back to another episode of In the Studio on Goodman Games' official Twitch channel. You're being hosted by the wonderful Elena. She'll be forwarding any pertinent messages from chat to me since I don't see them. And she'll maybe be doing a little interaction, making us laugh. If I'm not a doing a good enough job at that. Anyway, if you were here last time, our theme for last week was, what was that? Uh, necromancing the Bones. And this is the guy that uh, I came up with. I did a little extra work. If you were watching last week, I, I put a little extra tones in there between last time. So, yeah, it was kind of a fun one. And tonight, um, what was our theme tonight? Oh, why'd you make me ask? Uh, or why'd you ask me? Why'd you make me look it up is what I'm trying to say. I, Jeez. I forgot again. Hang I can barely on. remember this one. Hang on. I'm looking it up. I like big whites and I because they cannot die. Say it a little faster. <laughs> I like big whites and I can they cannot die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now sing it <laughs> no <laughs> uh. all right if anyone in chat knows what i was referencing chime up and there'll be a special prize if someone has a whole uh, verse by the end of the uh episode oh i hope that there's a a uh, special prize because that uh who boy man <laughs> 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 and tonight's white has already been named by me and its name is Dwight extra bonus points if you know what I'm referencing there the office there we go we got Dwight the white so without further ado I'll see what I can do Is anybody in chat to hear? Yes, uh, we've got quite there? a few people. Uh, Xerxico no. has uh, has said other goblins can't deny. So he's already starting on the verse. Excellent, excellent. I knew I could count on you people. So for the uninitiative initiated words um for those who don't know what are whites yes oh are you asking i'm me? asking you you're the one who's drawing oh. it i assume you oh, know slightly man. what it is <laughs> uh they're undead <laughs> I, I that's about uh let's see They're undead. I don't know much more about them. All right. I looked it up. So, okay. according to um, the dictionary, it is a person of a specified kind. No, wait. No, that's the wrong thing. Um, yeah, a <laughs> you want to look up the D&D &D definition of a white. <laughs> it's funny enough. It's right next to the actual definition of what a white is. Uh -huh, in. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but it's, it was just, look, man, I was trying to make a funny. Um, oh, literarily, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to screw it up. So in literary terms on the dictionary, it says a spirit, ghost, or other supernatural being, but... In D and D, a white is a mythical sentient being, often undead. In its original use, the word white described a living human being, but has come to be used as fictional works in the fantasy genre to describe certain immortal beings. Boom. That's all I got. I didn't really want to click on another link. No, oh, that's quite all right. You did, a, you did a wonderful job. Excellent.
So part of the reason uh, it's another undead was because I was trying to come up with themes for last last week's uh, raising the dead uh, themes, and I thought putting it to verse. So of course, you know, I'm trying to rhyme and find things and well, undead that cannot die, you know. I, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. So that's that's what was happening there. Dice Station yeah, Dice Station Zebra is asked, do they drain levels out of the PCs? I can look that up, I'm not sure. Wait a minute, what? Out of the feces? Did I uh, hear no, that right? No, PCs, player characters. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not talking okay. about scat here. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, well, I'm glad to hear it's not feces. I don't know, maybe they can drain uh, points out of that, but... All right. So, life drain in 5e... Uh, they have a an attack called Life Drain. It's a melee weapon attack uh, that does 1d6 plus 2 necrotic damage. The target must succeed on a constitution saving throw or it or its maximum hit point or its hit point maximum is reduced by an amount equal to the damage taken. The reduction lasts until the target finishes a long rest. The target dies if this effect reduces its hit, hit point maximum to zero. Look, man, I'm looking up what the current people are playing. I could look at. Do you want me? Do you want me to look up the AD and D? Because, fine. Hang on. I'm, I'm just gonna type away over here. People. <laughs> you can hear me typing. I hope. Unfortunately, I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, according to AD&D 2nd Edition, that I think this person has taken this from, I'm just going to assume that it is. Um, combat. Whites are fierce and deadly foes in combat. When attacked, they are uncharmed by any weapons that are not forged from silver. Or unharmed, not uncharmed. <laughs> <laughs> by any weapons that are not forged from silver or enchanted in some manner. The white attacks its, with its jagged claws, powerful blows, inflicting 1d points of damage uh, with each successful strike. Uh, or inflicting 1 to 4, so 1d4. Um, let's see. Uh, each blow that the white lands drains one level from the victim, reducing hit die, class bonuses, spell abilities, and so forth. So yes, in AD&D &D it did drain levels in... Current D and D, it just drains hit points. I'm going with whites that apparently can use swords and have armor and stuff. Hey, that that's fine. Whites are also unaffected by sleep, charm, hold, or cold based spells. Nice. And in addition, they're not harmed by poison or paralyzation attacks. Makes sense. They can't feel. Wonderful. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm sorry if you guys slightly hear me burp. I uh, oh, had dinner my. right before this. God. I know it's disgusting. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you probably didn't hear it, but definitely Twitch heard it. I saw the, uh, the volume mixer go up. Uh-oh. We got a verse yet? Give me a second. Or are um, they slapping? I'm gonna have to. No, Zersico made it up, and now I gotta write it down before I forget. Hang on. Oh uh, man. I I gotta write it down in my notebook. All right. What was the title? 
I like big whites because they cannot die. Okay, that. I already messed it up writing it down. Hang on. <laughs> Let me start over. Oh, man. I can't believe you're going to make me wrap this. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I that's what you're going to do. I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to do. Uh, but you know I can't do it without <laughs> it. <laughs> it's just natural. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out with your music career. Uh-huh. That's totally taking off. After this, I, of course... Kudos to Zersico for doing this. I'm also impressed that he knows this well enough to to do this. I think Xerxes might be a she. Oh. My bad. I reverted back to old English. Not, not that it matters. I reverted back to old old English. Where everything was referred to a he <laughs> until told otherwise. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it slips out sometimes. I'm trying to fix it. I've read too much literature in my day. <laughs> I'm stuck in the 1800s. It sucks. Um, oh, geez. Because you. Everybody stop typing in chat for like two seconds. I'm kidding. Please don't. Um. I don't know the tune or the rhythm to the last part of this. That's all right. Neither do so, I. So, uh, if it turns into me just w reading it, I apologize. You do whatever you're comfortable doing. <sighs> okay, so I got everything that I could. <laughs> so Cersei says, I can't, one, I can't rap. Two, I'm just having some fun. Three, it's not nearly as cool as Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> uh, so. I like big whites because can't because they cannot die. No other go goblins can deny. <laughs> when the dead walk in with a pale, pale face, you get flayed. Want to run out fast because you notice that death is <laughs> is fast. Deep in the cavern, it's dwell he's dwelling. I'm hooked and I can't stop moving. Oh, death want to avoid you and take your hit points. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Cersei Co came up with. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. You better sound like Sir Mix a lot or I'm taking my money back. Well, take your money back, Scottish Jeff. <laughs> this is what you guys get. <laughs> <laughs> no one else has a version? <laughs> yeah, right? Chickens. Yeah, Jeff, you come up with something better. <laughs> Cersei so says I'm keeping all the royalties. <laughs> 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 oh, this is goofy. That's what happens on this show. Uh, I love it. <laughs> so how's it going over there? It's going all right, I think. I like his spooky eyeballs. Have I done anything with him yet? Or you just mean the whole shape? I just what? mean the shape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I like the shape of his eye holes. Kind of a undead Eddie-ish. 
Did you go back to drawing Eddie again? <laughs> <laughs> Just Chet's got the where all the white girls at. <laughs> Scottish Jeff is done. I'm just an average white guy. <laughs> I I love these double entendres that are coming out. It's really like it's so dumb. <laughs> anybody like I need to screenshot chat before I go on to the next show, uh -huh. or no one's gonna believe that we're saying the right word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing with this hand thing I'm a jigger here? <laughs> Chat were here, he'd know what to do. Oh, Chad is here. He doesn't know what to do. I mean, here, here. He could draw oh. this hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just put your hand on there and just carve the outline. Or I just trace it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like the turkeys at Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> when in doubt, put a glove or gauntlet on it. Is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chet. Yeah, I'm just trying to think here. Trying to think. How would that... Jeff says, ask Chad, ha Chad Hansen to help you. Chad Hansen. That's the, that's their, they've got an in joke, and I wasn't exactly in on it, so I, I, I don't fully know their whole Chad Hansen stuff. Apparently, Chet says Jack Fred is better. Nah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, I think this is good enough to throw some stuff down. What do we got left? A half an hour? <laughs> if you wanted to be half an hour. But your fans. Well, unless someone comes up with a second verse. <laughs> I'm not rapping a second verse. They can they can rap it, record it, and upload it. They can put it on work. Facebook, you cowards. Do some work for once, you people. Leave it all up to us to entertain you. you Are you not are? entertained? Now I got ink on my finger. <gasps> Oh, it's going to get all over. Don't touch your face. Oh, man. Let's see. Jeff is wishing ill will on us already. He said it's about a half hour before you kick your camera again. You just I mean, shut it, Jeff. Don't wish it into existence. Also, Xerxes is is uh, upset at us because uh, because we're claiming what? that we're not we're not doing the chat's not doing enough for entertainment. Xerxes, you were left out of this. Just so you're aware, you've done good. Everybody else, though, I kid because I love. <laughs> You're all wonderful, and I appreciate all of you. And I wasn't being sarcastic. This is the Chris Elena 
comedy drawing hour. What's going to happen when it's the end of the season? I'd say brought to you by Goodman Games, but which it is, but I don't know. <laughs> we might be straying a bit. Maybe we're lucky Joe doesn't watch our shows. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he, he's, uh, I don't know, he's hanging out with his kids or something. He's not, he's not paying attention to us. <laughs> he's not rolling in the grave just yet. Wh what? <laughs> I said he's not rolling in the grave just yet. He's in a grave? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what did you do? I did nothing. I know you miss your deadlines, but man, that's a little too far. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> deadlines, schmedlines. As long as it gets done. Speaking of deadlines, I've got like three things for a class that I've still got to do. Uh-oh. Yikes. Oh, boy. One of them is to write a short story. Weirdly enough, for my archaeology class. <laughs> ah. Dice Station Zebra's right. We gotta be careful or Joe will start sending emo goth to, uh, to check the stream. Mm-hmm. We don't want Emo Goth to check the stream. He likes to eat artists. Who does? Emo Goth the Danged. You know, the, the dragon that Dieter has with him. Oh, it's oh that okay. Yeah, that's that's Emo Goth the Danged. He's a real mean worker. Like he'll Let's he'll get see. you. Yeah, how do I wanna do this? Don't tell anybody. But emo goth is actually a big softy. Okay. Just don't let them know I said that. I will try not to. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. I finally saw the D&D &D movie. Oh, what did you think? Did you see it? I did not. Okay. I might be going this weekend. I don't know yet. I can try and talk without spoilers. Maybe? Well, anyway, I, I had low expectations, but I think they were still higher than what they should have been. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good and sign. <laughs> the way I think, and that's just me, it was, it was good. But I think, so I kind of explained it on Facebook as I think I was looking for more of a Conan the Barbarian as opposed to a Conan the Destroyer, if that makes sense. Mm, mm-hmm. Yep. It was, I'll watch it again under the complete expectations of this is a comedy, um, I think, is the, is the way I was, was viewing. But, uh, yeah, that's just me. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I think my biggest annoyance and the reason why, like, I'm still on the fence on whether or not I want to go see the D&D &D movie, because, uh, like, somebody in my uh, home group 
one of my players because mm-hmm. uh, uh, one of them can't be there. They're doing some school get together thing for her sorority or something, so she can't she can't make it. So one of the other players uh, was like, "Oh, we could go see the movie together if we can't get if like the rest of us can go see the movie if uh, if we're still free." And mm-hmm. I haven't responded. Mostly because I'm teetering on whether or not I actually want to go see the movie in the theaters. Because I did not like the trailers. Yeah, I I wasn't a fan of the trailers. Um, Now, you've watched the the Amazon Prime Vox Machina, correct? Uh, I watched... I can't remember if I watched the entirety of season one or if I only watched half of season one and then basically read spoilers about it. Because, I mean, I, I listened to the Critical Role podcast, or I did, um, before Vox Machina came out, so I knew what the storyline was. Um, but the, um, but I watched, I watched most of season one. So, yes. I'm... I'm kind of the same way. I don't think I finished it. I probably need to get back to it. I, I think to me, it, it, it was sort of like that. Um, I think oh. there was a lot of humor in it that maybe was like, I don't know, do I want to see a cool D&D or do I want to see a, a funny adventure like when I'm playing with friends online, you know? Um, yeah. So that's kind of what I I might uh, compare it to. So if you liked that, um, you know. So I don't necessarily like. I'm with Chet in what they what he said. Vox Machina is great. Some of the humor is overboard, but he loves the action and the artwork, and I agree with that. And I think. Mm-hmm. The comedy in Vox Machina, even it, with it being a little over the top, which I can agree with, works because it's a cartoon. You can sure. do sillier things, you can make certain jokes with a cartoon, and they don't have, you know, you're allowed to suspend disbelief and kind of, you know, let the goofiness of it being a cartoon be a cartoon, right? Same thing with, like, kids' cartoons. Like, Spongebob is super over-the-top and, like, kind of grotesque at times, but it's a cartoon. You kind of just let it be a goofy cartoon, you know? You just accept Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. that's the universe because it's a cartoon isn't real. But, like, if the humor of Vox Machina is the humor of the D&D movie, I don't know how well that works with it being a live-action thing, you know? It's kind of like some of the Avengers like jokes don't land for me because they're goofy cartoony jokes when these are live action we're supposed to believe this could exist you know like it's Mm -hmm. so realistic that we're supposed to suspend disbelief that this is like an alternate an alternate world or it could happen outside of your window in this world kind of deal but it's like once you lean too heavily on silly humor Mm-hmm. And it stops being realistic, and I think that's that's such a hard disconnect, you know. But and you know, my word isn't uh, final. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I I think that's kind of how I was was seeing it. But uh, yeah. So I I'll watch it again when it comes comes online um whether it gets on hbo or something so i'm basing my judgment of the humor on what i've seen in the trailers Mm -hmm. and to be fair the trailers haven't made me laugh like once even yeah. when it's like obviously a joke and that's like that's what i'm basing my i don't know if i'm going to enjoy this <laughs> off of is like if you can't make me laugh in what in the trailer which trailers are notorious for having the best bits of your movie in then you know maybe it's not for me <laughs> uh 
I hear ya. Also, Jeff says, yay, Chris thinks her D&D group is funny. <laughs> Maybe funny looking. <gasps> Who said that? <laughs> well, that's because you can actually see me in Zoom, not just my hand. TSW makes a good point. The filmmakers had a tall mountain to, cr to climb. There's no way to please everyone since everyone plays D&D &D differently. And I think that's true. Um, Stop for the trying most part. to cover for them, TSW. Yeah, I think it's true for the most part. Um, like, if, if you brandish it as a action-adventure comedy, it works. Um, and, and it can work. I generally can just kind of go by, like, the writing is, is where it's flawed, um, as far as, like, the jokes, like, the comedy writing probably isn't going to hit me, um, it's definitely, a, it's definitely banking on, you know, people who play D&D &D with all of its monsters and, and different things mm -hmm. like that, but it's also, I think it caters, because what, it's PG-13? right? I didn't even look. I'm guessing something like that. I think it's probably PG-13 because I think that's what most of the Avengers movies are, is like PG-13 so they can at least say the F word once. Um, I don't remember if that was in there. It's probably not. Um, a lot of a lot of PG-13 movies aren't even PG-13. We can't say the, the F word words. here. No, no, we are no. a PG stream. Um, uh -huh. but the, but it, it's one of those things, like, I, I like to, I like to say that, all oh, they, they wanted to have the F word, so they made it PG-13, but most of the time it's PG-13 because, uh, certain violent aspects or certain themes will come Our up, which are a little bit. show is full of the F word. Fun. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere at any time at all down here in the deep blue sea. Every time I hear the word fun, I think of that episode. Of I don't know where that came from, but SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, SpongeBob. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get to watch as much SpongeBob. That I was uh... <laughs> a little. little... <laughs> I watched a little too much of it growing up. To the That's point okay. where, uh, if anybody knows the uh, song, uh, I Ripped My Pants or whatever that Spongebob sings, I used to know that song by heart, um, and I used to sing it a lot because it would get stuck in my head. Also, NWI Dungeon Crawler, I am so glad that you uh, that you started it. So, <laughs> so Plankton also sings in the fun song. And uh, he starts out with uh, F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium bombs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but I, I had a I also had an alarm clock. And if I didn't think that I would probably die a horrible death for using that alarm clock here, um, because someone would be very upset at me for waking them up with it every every day <laughs> um i would use that alarm clock because it would it would make a uh, fog horn and then start singing plankton's part and then start singing the rest of the song until you woke up oh my goodness chet knows the words too i ripped my pants of course he does that's amazing and Big Larry came round just to put him down. SpongeBob turned into a clown. And no girl ever wants to dance with a fool who went and ripped his pants. <laughs> Careful, they might they might uh demonetize us for that. Oh. <laughs> I can just cut. <laughs> I'll just cut audio for that part. <laughs> oh, you can't cut that. I can. I'll just Put in, I don't know, some funky, royalty-free disco music. Can't take away history that was just made. Nah. Sure I can. I I'm have the power. I'm telling you you can't. 
I have the power. I am the wizard here. <laughs> I'm just nothing. You're the bard, duh. With your Dad, beautiful drawings, with your beautiful drawings, you inspire everyone. You're the bard. The bard. The bards are like the worst D and D people. Depends on who's playing the bard. I guess Chet did play a bard, didn't he? Chet, did you play a bard? <laughs> he just said, hey, that's my character. <laughs> <laughs> he yes. did an all right job. <laughs> I still love the fact that my, my character is a bard. Uh, or she is a cleric who uh, multiclassed as being a bard and she's absolutely useless because she has no charisma modifier and we've been doing the joke like apparently in 5e even if you have no charisma modifier you have a blanket of one inspiration like die that you could give to somebody like you always have a one just because you're a bard even if you don't have a modifier because it's based on like how many uh how many inspiration die you can give is based on how much charisma you have so like if you have four charisma you can have four inspiration die basically um at least that's how i read it in the rules i might be wrong but uh i don't have a charisma modifier and so my my reason for never giving bardic inspiration to anybody is in my head it's funnier that i'm a bard with literally no charisma so every time I try to do anything, it is the worst. <laughs> and I use a shield as a gong. <laughs> because she doesn't know how to play a weapon, but she or she doesn't know how to play an instrument. So she's just like, I know how to bonk. So she'll just take her mace and smack her <laughs> smack her shield. And that's how she does it. <laughs> so it's real bad. Is everyone else enjoying themselves in chat? We haven't lost any of you. It looks like everybody's enjoying themselves. Jeff is uh, is telling us to just ask Chet's bard trying to hook up with a drow waitress. No, no, no. We can't go there. This is a PG-13 show. I mean, he just wants to take her fishing. Mm hmm. <laughs> Chuck doesn't even know how to fish. <laughs> Besides, he asked me to go fishing a couple times. You gotta watch out for that guy. So did anyone else in chat watch the movie? Uh TSW says that oh, yeah. they that they did. Um Thing, I think they did a great job dropping Easter eggs and bits of lore to keep the fans happy while keeping it breezy enough to appeal to non gamers. Cool. Yes, they did have a Probably more lore than I would have understood, which is perfectly fine. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I think I'll just have to go back and watch it looking for more of a comedy. Uh, and less seriousness. I think I was talking to someone and whether, and I may not be right but I think I might have compared it a little bit to like Willow that just came out on Disney um, with, with some humor that just, I don't know, wasn't my thing maybe to some degree. Um, I don't know. 
Lori oh, no. says, uh, Lori's in Chad. Hi, Lori. Um, Hi, Lori. Uh, she says that she did, but I'm not, uh, I'm a non D and D person. It was entertaining and my kids liked it too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can see that. That's why I got to go back and watch it. Sometimes I'll watch a movie a second time and like it better. Yeah. I don't know if my brain's going too much while I'm watching it the first time, like waiting for something special. I don't know. The last movie I saw that I really, really liked was uh, Top Gun Maverick. For me, that pretty much hit everything. The only thing that bugged me <laughs> is that it was almost exactly Star Wars. The whole trench run and got to get in and drop the, uh, you know. No spoilers. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. TSW, TSW says that they saw it twice and picked up a couple of things that they missed the first time. That's kind of neat. The, I, the that, D &D movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I I like that. I like the fact that like you it has enough in there somewhere that uh you know it'll um what's the word I'm looking for that it'll it'll have something new uh to show off. Mm-hmm. 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 Lori says that she has questions but won't ask because she doesn't want to spoil anything for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's awfully nice of her. Yes, thank you. We probably have answers if they're D&D &D related, but... <laughs> that would do a horrible job explaining <laughs> Yeah, so I mean the D and D lore. There's stuff that I caught, but I'm not a D and D lore um, expert or anything. Mm -hmm. And there's probably stuff that I might have recognized or heard, but not really knowledgeable of it, like other people are. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, there is a dragon in there. <gasps> that apparently is of some lore um which was a huge disappointment to me but <laughs> <laughs> we will leave it at that <laughs> so yeah Give me, like, a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two at most. Uh, I have my headset plugged in, and so you guys don't hear -doo -doo or battery X percent. Um, I'm I'm going to take my headset off, and I'm going to chase my cat away from my door so it stops scratching Does this mean it. we can talk about you, then? Uh, I won't hear it, so sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Or I can continue trying to figure out what I'm doing here with this white. Maybe I should give him glasses. I hope you're all uh, singing our theme song in chat. 
I'm going to expect to see some Facebook posts, some TikToks of you guys singing our theme song. And so anyway, I told this Chris guy. <laughs> yeah, what did you tell him? <laughs> uh, what did you tell him? That his art is great. That's a lie. <laughs> You never believe me. <laughs> I was just trying to convince everyone that uh, I'm going to want to see some TikToks after this with our with people singing our theme song. We have a theme song. Well, this this episode's song. Oh, oh yes. I like big white whites because they cannot die. Yes, agree. I want to see a whole uh, TikTok challenge. I'm starting a TikTok challenge. So everyone copy down the uh, the uh, full verse that was put up there. If I That's have, your... if I had TikTok, I would start it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> TSW's got a good one, A White Wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice day to die again. <laughs> a whiter shade baby. of pale what what is going on why are you guys so good at this <laughs> i'm dreaming of a white christmas <laughs> Oh, man. oh, my family came back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to have Billy Idol stuck in my head. I'm sorry. Also, I'm not sorry because I'm going to have it stuck in my head, too. <laughs> I've done it to myself. <laughs> My brain's not working. I can't think of any white songs. Any other white songs. We haven't been raided in a long time, have we? I don't think so. Are but I also don't know. Worthy? Are we not raid worthy anymore? I don't know. Man. I know sometimes our um, actual plays will get raided because rated, they go on for mm -hmm. so long that like people in their streams and come to us. The white mm -hmm. stuff, white snake. Man, you guys just keep rolling them out. <laughs> I'm still a little white. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> it was the immediate and oh no, that that's a bad one. <laughs> just the, just the resignment of uh eighties hair metal, great white, white lion, white tiger, white wolf. <laughs> yes. White said Fred. <laughs> Uh, Not even an hour in yet, man. Snow White. <laughs> <laughs>
Hmm. Well, I hope everyone's having fun in chat there. I mean, it looks like they're having fun. Does anybody else see any movies? I haven't seen any in a while. Um, but NWI Dungeon Crawler uh, sound, found out the, found one from his wife. Um, from their wife saying, White Stripes. And that <laughs> one's cracking me up. Because I should have thought of that one too. That was a good Well, then one. I guess... White zombie would literally be the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, in TSW says that this is torture. All of these puns. Uh-huh. I find it great. I love puns. It's... But TSW loves to be tortured, if I understand correctly. So, if my calculations are correct, then I'm pretty sure I'm never wrong. Um, I think we only have one more episode after this. I believe so, yes. One more episode. Of course, you're all invited to join. Come and watch. I don't hear enough sobbing in chat. <laughs> They're too shocked. That's what it is. Ah. Oh, but NWI says we're not allowed to end the season. Oh. I see. Gonna start making sounds pretty soon. As we pay said, yep, just uh just getting back to my seat, y'all shocked me right out of it. TSW says sorry we all fainted. What am I gonna do with my Mondays now? Well, don't worry. Brad's coming back. And you can always watch reruns. And reruns, yes, that's true. Granted, I've been doing a really bad job about getting reruns of this show on the channel. I've been well, trying my dangdest. That's all right. 
give them time to to forget what they watched the first time. This is true. Then you guys would be extra shocked at the weird stuff we say. I can't believe I said that. Yeah, try how how I'm sure you don't watch them on YouTube. Try having to edit them for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sitting there like why did i say that and you're like trying to see <laughs> like i'm not kidding there are times where i'm just hoping that chris is doing what he's doing right now and he's like dipping his his you know brush back in ink when i say something really stupid because i'm like oh good <laughs> i can cut that out because he's doing no, nothing right now <laughs> you can't cut anything out i'm allowed to do it <laughs> let me that's, have the editing that's... power but that's part of the show. No. no Look, man, I like people to think I'm somewhat smart until they actually hear me live. Any of you people out there who watch this just on YouTube, you guys don't hear half of the stupid stuff I say. No, I'm kidding. Most of it I keep. There's, like, been one thing that I, I think... Because you were doing nothing for so long and I was just... I don't know what I was talking about. I was talking out my butt about something. And it was just like, it went on for like a good, like, minute and a half, two minutes. And I'm like, mm, I can just cut everything I just said. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I don't even remember what it was. But it was like, it was just useless information. <laughs> I do go back and watch those. Oh, good. I, I <laughs> you don't like remember what I said anyway. <laughs> I like to remember, of course, no one's editing out stupid things I say, probably. Are you are you moving your pencil when you say it? <laughs> <laughs> then probably not. So if I don't move my pencil, anything I say right now can be edited out. <laughs> you weren't watching, I'm guessing. Oh, no, 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 I saw. I uh, I just had to go and unmute myself uh, okay. so I could make a comment. So, oh. um, I could cut that out, yes. But uh -huh. what I'm going to do instead is probably put a GIF on the screen because it's funny. <laughs> uh -huh. I think that's been my favorite thing to do recently in uh, in videos is when somebody says something really funny um or references something and i'm like oh i could get a gif and put that in there <laughs> i've been doing that <laughs> like i've been doing that with honor among thieves um they just uh -huh. did i don't know if i've posted it on youtube yet i know i edited it uh, i gotta check the render because i think it might have been one of the ones that the render messed up for so i haven't i have to go back and not re-edit but redo the the uh, re render the video so that i can upload it but there's this, uh, there's this one part where they referenced, like, the, the first, I think, like, first episode or one of the first episodes of Twin Peaks with the wrapped in plastic thing, and I put the gif on screen because I just <laughs> couldn't help it. It was so funny. I remember that, I remembered that part of the show. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, that's been my favorite thing about editing is, uh, is just putting the random the random goofy stuff and and having some fun with it excellent uh teddy bear cola so i learned i actually self-taught myself how to do editing before i got into my production class um in in college so i'm going to school for those of you who don't know i'm going to school for communications journalism and it's a focus in electronic media and broadcast um so we learned so i was doing this job before i took my basic media production class um which is kind of funny because everything in my basic media production class i taught myself <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that was, I just don't use a, uh, Premiere, uh, because I'm, I'm not paying Adobe. Way too much money for, for Premiere. So I'm not paying Adobe, so I use DaVinci Resolve and I self-taught myself. And, um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Um, what you can do with it. I'm still learning as, like, 
as anything, you know, you continue to learn. Um, as long as you enjoy it, you always try to learn something new with it. And so I just learned um, after doing several welcome videos <laughs> for the Goodman Games channel, um, <laughs> I just learned that I could have made my life a whole bunch easier by basically making all of, like, the whole background, like, with the, um, if you guys have seen the welcome videos, you can see that it's, like, this living room kind of scene, you know, this big, um, wood wall with, like, a, a TV stand on it and two TVs, and I, I realized, you know, a week, two weeks late, that I could have made my life easier by all of those foreground pieces. I could have just contained into a massive clip by itself and all I had to do was just like you know have a couple of other things but no I made my life uh -huh. harder and each one of those is like a separate like instance of a, a video track <laughs> and, uh you know of course now now that I've done it all and I'm like oh I don't have another one to test out what I just learned so I'm gonna go back and just play with it now that you know I've already done it and put it on YouTube but yeah, mm -hmm. it's been it's been a lot of fun. Um, I might end up breaking down and buying DaVinci Resolve, like the. Uh, it's not a subscription base, which is which is why I'm thinking about getting it. It's not like Adobe where you have to pay, like a hundred and something bucks a year for the Creative Cloud subscription or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not dealing with a subscription. I've I already pay for enough subscriptions. I don't need another one. <laughs> <laughs> I had to break down and get that since Photoshop is what I do in general. So yeah, yeah, but that's the that's, that's worked out uh, for me. I'm pretty happy with it. But, yeah. yeah, I hear you. I don't like the price. Like I don't like subscription services. Is really what it is. Like if I paid, you know, just upfront x amount of money, and you know. I had it forever and ever, amen, and there was nothing I had to pay for, that'd be great, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't want to have to pay monthly or yearly for it, um, but, like, I'm thinking about breaking down and, and buying DaVinci Resolve, um, mm -hmm. cause I think it's, like, 200 and something dollars or whatever, um, for the whole, whole bundle, cause it's really, they don't have, like, a lot of stuff that is locked behind the paywall. It's, like, certain video transitions or video effects, if you don't feel like making them yourself, which 100% you could just make yourself, it's just harder, you know? <laughs> because mm -hmm. why make it yourself if someone else has done it for you? Um, but it, for the most part, uh, it's, I, I haven't needed to upgrade because there's nothing I I've needed to do um so far but yeah but yeah no I'm I uh I'm lucky that I can still go to go to my school for now uh I'm not looking forward to the day that I can't go to school and make my OBS overlays <laughs> Because I've been doing them in class. I've been taking, because the Mac Labs, the Mac Labs are the, the crappy Apple mice that don't have a right click, you know? Okay. And I need my right click. I, 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 I'm I spoiled by Windows mice, and they have the right click, so I, I bring a mouse with me when I go to school. But I sit in the, I sit in the, like, Mac Lab at school and make OBS overlays with Adobe because I'm like, this is the only place I can use Photoshop and InDesign for free. <laughs> I don't want to pay people. for Photoshop. Don't make me pay. <laughs> I just wish that there were, like, good free tools that did as, did, did as well as, as Photoshop does. Like, Photoshop just has too many convenient tools. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Teddy Vercola would like to know what character this is. Would you like to tell them? This is Dwight the White. And a white is an undead creature. Mm-hmm. 
Do you know many of those? <laughs> Undead creatures or Dwight's? <laughs> I don't know many of either. <laughs> and I don't talk to them either. You sure about that? Pretty sure. Mm. They don't talk to me as far as I know. So has chat been behaving? Yes. Yes, they Did have they... for once. Chat. Chat and chat. Chet has been in chat. I don't know where he is. Uh, Lori Thibodeau with... Uh, sorry. What? I just said that son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he just yes, says Lori? LOL. Uh, Lori would like to know, do whites speak? I don't know. Is there uh, uh, someone in chat that can answer that? I am not sure either. Does Dice Station... Zebra, no, maybe? Chet says no. Also, Jeff is being a butt again. He says he's gone for 15 minutes and you're still not finished. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with you. So, to your, uh, to your question, Lori Thibodeau, because neither Chris nor I know enough about whites to actually answer this, you've got Chet saying no, and Jeff saying nothing says that they can't speak. Is it a grunt? Could be a grunt. Or they just go around like... <sighs> I mean, do liches speak? Liches get stitches. True. Also, uh... Dice Station Zebra says if your judge says they can talk, they can talk. So, I am in agreement with that. That's kind of where I go with it. Hmm. What do we got? 30 minutes left? 35? Oh, man, I'm getting ink on my hand. So, oh. Don't get it on the art. No smudges. Try not to. <laughs> so, uh, Chet says, uh, technically, whites are mindless and full of insane rage. And Scottish Jeff says, liches are highly intelligent and wise, so they do speak. They spend many years to reach lichhood. They better be able to speak and cast spells. Smart, true. Okay, so Lori Thibodeau. Basically, liches are um, like a wizard or a warlock or some other magical class um, that kind of went insane with power and they die in some way. Uh, I don't think they all die the same. But basically, the idea is that they die so that they can come back and most of the time they've done really terrible things uh, to become a nasty wizard. And then, so liches are just really evil undead with, like, witches and wizards. Um, I remember my dad in his campaign had a lich named Bob. Yeah. Which cracked us all up because, you know, like, typically liches have, like, these crazy insane fantasy names, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this guy was just Bob. <laughs> well, this guy's named Dwight, so... That's fair. <laughs> Dwight the White. I 
<laughs> I love hearing stories of like D and D campaigns because they're so funny and silly, and sometimes things like at the table like don't don't land when you tell the story to someone else. But there are like some some that are just real goofy. Also, Teddy Bear Cola loves Dwight's hair, and I am in agreement. Got that wicked 80s mane going on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Every time I try to draw hair, it just comes out either looking like a mop or like an anime protagonist. Well, this is isn't anything uh, on mop like. <laughs> yeah, but it seems intentionally that way. Well, yeah, I mean that's it's. Scraggly stuff. White hair. Would a white's hair be white? Wow, that was... I said that out loud and my brain got confused. <laughs> 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 I don't like it. <laughs> yes, white hair can be white. I'm just trying to think, like... Do undead creatures with hair, would their... Would the color of their hair be gone, or... I don't know. Time to do some necromancy studies. What? Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Start making noises again. It helps you think. Ryan, get this. Done enough here. anyone done a second verse for us? Or are they slacking now? They're slacking. And oh. these people. Jeff uh, looked it up. So whites know all the languages they knew when they were mortal beings. So they understand speech but have seen nothing that says they can speak. But there's also nothing that says that they can't. <laughs> All right, have fun adulting, Lori. Thanks for stopping what? by. Thanks for coming, Lori. One more episode, boy. Got to make it a good one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't 
don't think I can top last season's ending. What did we do last season? <laughs> <laughs> it's been like a year I've forgotten. Let's just say we had a special guest on. <gasps> That's right. You pulled the April Fool's prank when it wasn't April Fool's. <laughs> That was a fun prank. Oops. I think I might have been getting too detailed and this guy's getting lost in the details. What do you mean? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> sometimes my stuff doesn't, isn't as easily readable, if that makes sense. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I put the air conditioning on to help with our issue, and I am freezing my arse off in this studio for you people. They make jackets, don't they? I wasn't expecting it to get quite this cold. <laughs> I can almost imagine you could see my breath here. <laughs> We haven't turned on the air conditioning. Well, no, I take that back. We had a 90 degree day here once. Uh, we turned on the air conditioning for that. But for the most part, we don't really use the air conditioning. I think we did today. I think it's still, I think it's, I think it's on kind of, but it also was like 50 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. It went back to spring out of nowhere. Did it do the same for you or is it winter again? <laughs> oh no, we got winter. <laughs> we got, we got a fair amount of snow um, so it's it's cool um, but I'm trying to make it extra cool in here to make sure things run properly all right because um, I'm yeah I'm 99% sure that was the issue yeah it could be but uh, so yeah I'm freezing my tushy off Jeff says it's cold and rainy there. Turn the heat back on today. Last Friday it was 92 degrees. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's raining tonight, but it rained yesterday, which I think is part of the reason why it cooled down so much. I think it's supposed to be 60 tomorrow, but it was like 55, I think, was the highest today. Uh, at least here. Also, Chet says uh, that there's never... Uh, there's never enough detail, according to him. Well, Chet's even more of a master of detail than I am. But he makes it work. I My stuff, sometimes it just gets lost and yeah, I don't know what's going on. You lose the shape of the figure or whatnot. But yeah, I'm just trying to... You know, Go with the flow and see what this guy's doing. Chet's telling you that you're wrong and that his uh his stuff gets lost a lot. I didn't want to tell him. <laughs> what a nice guy you are <laughs> I'm just kidding
think this guy looks a little too happy. I don't know if that's quite how he's uh, supposed to come across. He's just glad to meet you. Mm-hmm. I want to try and get enough down and then throw in some some gradations, some grays and stuff here. And is it seven? I'm going to have to start doing some of that pretty soon. Unfortunately, I'm a little sad. I was trying to relax before, before doing this, wind down a little bit, and I finished up my three episodes of the new season of Marvelous Miss Maisel. I love that show. Is it good? I have, I. have. It's been on my list to watch, and I keep forgetting to go back and actually watch it, because I end up watching some really crappy horror movie that gets recommended to me on <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> I I really like it. I love it. I I like period pieces and I like the characters in there and Yeah. It's enjoyable for me anyway. And I completely forgot that Mandalorian was on. So I'm like, was three, four episodes behind on that. I got to get caught up. Oh, but, yeah. Isn't that a, it's a new season, right? Yeah, I guess so. I, but I'm getting pretty bored with that. It's starting to not be that enjoyable. I think I had a episode on the other day and. I don't even think I was paying attention to it. I was trying to get something else done. Is it uh is it getting to the point where like you're oversaturated with it? Maybe, and it's getting a little I don't know, boring. Same old, same old. Grogu is baby Yoda is getting a little alright. little used up yeah I, I guess i could see that um it's only cute for so long right now you've seen it and now it's like okay it's cute what do you want <laughs> that's pretty much how people feel about me <laughs> <laughs> you know i felt that <laughs> yeah Little Grogu. Yeah, let's see. Made some of this out here, do a little bit of that. My God, it is seriously cold in here, man. <laughs> it, do, do you want to, like, go turn off the air conditioning? <laughs> At this point, it's probably not worth it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's getting a little chilly. A little chilly.
Just make some hot cocoa after you're done. Mm-hmm. I do have Iron Maiden playing in the background again, so try not to hum. Nah, so that's why you drew Eddie. <laughs> mm hmm. Silence. Yeah. I've been trying to what? think of another topic to talk about, and I ain't got anything. What's everyone's favorite version of the sound of silence? Disturbs. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It is. History practice. I try and, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I try and sing it in my car sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Not very good though. I like to sing it like I like, like it's like one of those shower songs where like you just want to hear the echo even if you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the perfect like shower song to make it sound like you're in a I don't know big echoey cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, history professor says sorry I'm late. Um, the heat of your art will warm you though. That's a smart one. Didn't think about that. It's a good compliment. Thank you. Oh, it snowed in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. It Ugh. snowed out here. Ugh. We got snow the other day. Last night, was it? Yeah. Uh, Scottish Jeff says that they preferred the Sturbs version of Sound of Silence. Mm-hmm. I've heard that a lot, that, like, you know, people like the original because you, you like the original, but, like, the, I think, the, I think Disturbed's cover of it is, like, one of the best, like, covers of a song out there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. If I had hair, this is probably how it would look in the morning. Yeah, bedhead ain't no joke. I have short hair and it's still a pain in the butt. Like, I, I wake up looking like I've got, like, uh, what are those, what are those birds, cockatoos? The... The ones that have, like, the big fan on their head. That's what I feel like I look like when I wake up in the morning with my hair. Jeff says he hasn't been to a barber since 1994. 
And yes, history professor, um, Chris does, it is Wisconsin that you live. It's not outside the border, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. I live, uh, right near Lake Geneva, so. Ooh, TSW says check out Nevermore's version of Sound of Silence. Ooh. Well. Man, I gotta hurry up if I'm gonna throw in some washes here, darn it. I mean, you don't have to throw in washes if you don't want to. I want to get something down. I haven't really gotten to his face much. All right, I'm going to throw some stuff in here. I'm going to whip something down. Let's see here. And it got that a little too wet. This is called Whip It In. Man, that really adds a lot to, like, the texture of the skin. Mm-hmm. History professor says I could drive down to Lake Geneva and DJ in your room while you draw on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's better than the mostly silence I've got to deal with. Look, I'm sorry. I run out of topics. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not referring <laughs> to you. 
It's not a dig on you. <laughs> Jeff says as long as it's speed metal or thrash, Chris Chris loves it loud and hard to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you can't understand it doesn't mean we can't understand it. TSW says that Dwight the White also reminds them of a uh, a bit reminds them a bit of the band Gamma Ray's mascot Fang Face. <laughs> oh yeah, I am not familiar with that. To be fair, like I wouldn't have told you that Eddie was like the name of that that undead dude because sure. I honestly just never really noticed that it was the same character over and over and over on the covers. <laughs> I just thought it was like the artist just happened to draw like a similar character every time. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Make sure I'm still on screen here and stuff. Jeff says that uh, he may have to make Dwight the White a regular NPC in the game he's starting in a month or so. Give him the ability to speak and taunt the players all the time and getting out of dodge before the players can dispatch him. <laughs> that would be good. History Professor says there's a lot of gaming people in the southeast Wisconsin area. Jim Louder is coming to give a talk at Marquette next week, for example. That's pretty nifty. Nice. What are we looking at time wise? Five minutes. Yes. Oh my God. I'm trying. You've done a bang out job. What do you mean? Well, I'm whipping, whipping stuff out. Yeah, history professor, you showed up so late. We're leaving just because you showed up late. We couldn't stand it anymore. Pretty much. Like, God, that guy's here. We're gonna <laughs> end the show. It's over. <laughs> Jeff is saying, cue the video of the person trying to spin plates on the sticks with the music to go with it. Are you meaning like the the circus music, like the man? Speaking of music, I had uh, <laughs> so I was watching a friend uh play a game on Discord while I was doing some work, um, just because I wanted to have something in the background, and they were playing this FPS game. 
where uh and in the in this firefight that they were having they were like running around in circles around like this pillar or something that was on the Mm -hmm. on the mount and it made me laugh because (laughs) because the entire time i'm watching this firefight they're both missing their shots having to run and reload hiding behind this thing in the middle of the map and the entire time i'm like i didn't say anything i kept my mouth shut while i was watching it and I, as soon as they were done, wh- whoever died, I forget if it was my friend who won the fight or not. I was just like, that was the most Benny Hill I've ever <laughs> seen a game. Like, I had the Benny Hill song, like, music going on in my head the whole time they were, like, running around shooting each other. <laughs> it was cracking me up, man. Benny Hill, boy. I used to wait till my parents went to bed so I could get back up to watch TV to see Benny Hill. I used to do that with cartoons, but it was like I would stay up. I would stay up super late at night so I could watch anime on uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> on Cartoon Network because Adult Swim had anime right after like their normal shows. All the wholesome stuff that we watch. Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes I would stay up late just to watch, it had been, like, Adult Swim cartoons that I shouldn't have been watching at, like, 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Benny Hill, that was the thing. I had to get up to go watch it. Make sure that the uh, that the uh, TV was just loud enough so you could hear it, but your parents couldn't. <laughs> uh huh. I never decided if I put dark eyes or keep them. Maybe should be light. Got one minute to decide. The white, the white. All right. Well, unfortunately, it's that time, Chris. Finish that time, guys. It's that time. Finish your night. You got to put your pins down. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. So <laughs> thanks for coming. She's got another show to run. Um, remember, next Monday is going to be our last episode. This was the second to last. So hopefully you'll make it to that. Remember, check other, the other stuff out on Goodman Dame's Twitch channel, uh, the show coming up next is fun and uh you can always check out goodman games on youtube so until next time we will see you later